team and can project this, but Quentin just seems like he's, I mean, he's got the boot off. Is there any chance that he's ahead of schedule? Or? We think so. We don't really know exactly what schedule is either, I, th I think. You know, a high ankle sprain is, is one that, you know, it, it has all the degrees. You don't know the severity of it until someone has to start rehabbing. And I don't think Quentin's was as bad as we maybe initially thought. He's out of the boot. He's moving around pretty good, you know. And um, but again, we won't even attempt anything until next week. I think the the rest and the rehab of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then let's just see where he's at Monday. And even then, we don't have to rush it, you know. So uh, I'm pleased with his progress up to this point. But I'm not sure what ahead of schedule is because we don't really know what exactly the severity of it. So, but but the swelling's down, and, and he feels good about it. In court, what happened to court? Uh, he got kicked in the shin, and it was planned for him to have a light night anyway. So we just said, well, what's the use of giving him a few reps? Let's just let's just take it off completely. And maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know how much he'll do. Yeah, the, the, tomorrow will be again. We talked about it earlier in the week. It'll be the, really the last shot for our young guys to get a, a lot of quality reps, and so there'll be a big emphasis on them tomorrow. Um, and I thought their level of play has gotten better and better as the weeks go on, which I thought it would. And. Um, you know, from Derek Brown to Josh Perkins to the young defensive linemen to the DBs, and so um, yeah, they'll, they'll get a good amount of work. But our ones and twos will get plenty of work as well. Devin seems to rebound nicely. He's had two exceptional practices. It looks like. Yeah, he has done nicely. You know, and that's I think one of the beauties of our receiving core. Every night it feels like a couple different guys step up and make plays and. Um, that's you know that's the luxury we have right now of being extremely deep at that position, um, and so you know I love the fact that Devin's fought back and balled through it, battled through it, um, and then you know you see Jermaine make his plays or Kevin make his plays or James or DeAndre or Kaysen, and so it's a good group. So how tall are your freshman receivers, Williams and uh, Jenkins coming up? Uh, well, they're they're doing nice things. I mean, we saw Kaysen again tonight. I think that was about a 70-yard touchdown. You know, and just. About every other day or every third day, he, he has a big one. So, um, you know, they're doing a great job. What I love about them, you know, I've been saying, and, and they haven't wavered on this, is they're such competitive kids. This really matters to them. They're serious about it. Um, they, they study. They work at it. They compete. Um, you know, again, they're, they're fighting through not being perfect, but they're getting better. They're getting better. There's less mental mistakes, um, and there's more of being right consistently. And so that's what the battle's going to be here for the next two weeks.